Today's breadboard will be a reverb module. First thing first, we need to make a small modification to the faceplate of the breadboard module. Starting with some pilot holes, then quarter inch holes, two RCA jacks are mounted to connect to the reverb tank. It's a good idea to use different colored jacks, so it's easy to see which is the input and output. Now let's discuss the schematic we are using. There are plenty of reverb schematics out there. The important thing to match is the impedance of the driver to the input coil of the reverb tank. In this video, we're going to use a reverb tank with an 8 ohm input impedance. First, we have a unity gain follower to reduce the input impedance of the incoming audio signal, and the output stage tuned for an 8 ohm reverb tank. These are the RCA connectors that are mounted to the faceplate. The high gain recovery stage and a crossfade mixer to provide an output which contains both the original and reverb sounds. Start the breadboard by adding the quad op amp chip and some power filtering capacitors. Then the power connections to the chip. Next to the 100k resistor and feedback for the input follower stage. Now for the power stage. If it looks like there are more parts than needed, you'd be correct. If you don't have the exact value of a capacitor or a resistor, it can usually be made by adding the appropriate parts in series or parallel. The recovery stage is next. This circuit amplifies the signal coming from the pickup coil on the reverb tank and provides a large gain while at the same time filtering out unwanted noise. The final part of this breadboard, the crossfade mixer, with this circuit, a small amount of gain is needed, as some of the signal is always sent to ground with this type of mixer. Now that the breadboarding is done, the faceplate is mounted to the breadboard and the jack's potentiometer wires are attached. Connect it to a current limiting power supply and check that it passes the smoke test. Then hook it up to the synth. For those of you playing at home, this is the reverb tank I'm using. First let's hear the dry signal with no reverb. Now a completely wet signal of just reverb. Now the two mix together. Let's try a different sound. Starting with the dry signal, 
Now I'll reverb. And now a mix.